everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, I wanted to talk to you guys about different do-it-yourself techniques that you can do at home to create different interception and barrier devices that you can use on your bed and or couch to help prevent bed bugs from gaining access to your bed. The first thing I want to do is I want to tell you that no matter what I talk about in this episode today, they should not be viewed as control devices. So you can't do what I'm going to talk about today and necessarily eliminate your bed bug infestation. It's just things you can do to help catch and prevent bugs from gaining access to your bed. It's not necessarily going to stop them from doing that. Okay, so what I want to first talk about is our good old friend here, the Climb Up Insect Interceptor. And what I'm going to tell you guys about is some just easy things that you can do to basically use household products to create the same concept that these devices do. And so if you're not familiar with Climb Up Insect Interceptors, please watch our episode on Climb Up Insect Interceptors that goes in depth about exactly how to use these and what they do. But real quick, what it is, is you take the leg of your bed or couch at home, you put it in the center well of these devices, and as bugs travel to and from the bed, they basically walk up this sidewall, fall in this well, and they get stuck. There's talcum powder or baby powder in here, and it's so slippery they actually can't climb back out. They also get stuck in this center well. Although they can walk back up the leg, a lot of them do still get stuck in this center well. So, people look at these and they say, okay, well that, that's pretty neat, you know, but I, I don't even have the money to afford these, or, you know, I don't want to use these for whatever reason. Is there anything that I can do at home that will either catch or help prevent bugs from gaining access to my bed? And of course there are, and so that's what we're going to talk about today. Alrighty, so taking the same concept, as I said, we call this an interception device. And what that means is it actually catches the bugs as they try to go to and from the bed. There's also devices out there called barrier devices. And what a barrier device is, is it's something similar to this bowl I have right here. Now, if you have a bowl that looks like this at home, you may not want to use it because it may crack or break. You always want to check to make sure whatever you're going to use doesn't actually break. And there are devices on the market that you can buy that will give you the same you know, uh, outcome, which is a barrier to prevent bugs from gaining access. So what happens is you take the leg of the uh, better couch, you put it in your barrier device, and the bugs can't actually climb this outer surface. It's a glass surface, and they actually can't walk up it. And there's a lot of other barrier devices on the market that they can't climb up. And so what the concept is, is, you know, if I put these under the leg of my bed or couch, the bug shouldn't be able to gain access to the bed. Now, personally, I'm not a huge fan of the barrier concept. You know, a lot of us know that bed bugs can be very crafty. And my opinion is that, you know, one way or another, these bugs are going to find their way onto that bed. We know that if you're sleeping in bed and you have your sheets tucked in so that these work as well as possible, as you sleep at night, sometimes the sheets fall off and touch the floor, and that creates a natural bridge for the bugs to bypass this device. Or the bed is lying up against the wall, and the bugs use the wall to get onto the actual bed. And these bugs have actually even been noted to have the ability to walk up on the ceiling above the bed and drop down onto the bed. And so I'm not going to say that these can't help, and I don't want to discourage you from looking into them and possibly purchasing them, because it is something that could help you at home. I just think that, you know, the bugs are going to find their way onto that bed one way or another, and just preventing them from walking up the legs is not necessarily going to stop these bugs from gaining access to that bed. What I think is a better solution are the interception devices. Now, as I said, some people look at these and say either I don't want to use them or I can't afford them. What can I do at home? So the first thing you want to do, if you are going to do this at home, is find a container that the bugs can actually walk up the outside of the surface. Remember, this will not work because the bugs can't walk up the glass. But say you have a rough surface Tupperware container that you put some painter's tape on or uh, some sort of cloth tape or whatever the case may be. And the bugs can walk up this, that, that side, you put the leg of the bed in this actual, you know, copper device, and then you fill this device with, and there's a couple different options. The first option is soapy water. If you put soapy water in here, the bugs will hopefully fall off that ledge into the soapy water, and that soapy water will hopefully drown the bugs. You don't want to use just regular water. The bugs can actually float on the surface of that water, and they can potentially float over to the leg of the bed and then just walk up that leg. You want to make sure it's soapy so that way it actually breaks the surface tension and they drown. The pro to using soapy water is that if this were to spill by somebody kicking it or it breaking, it's hopefully not going to destroy the floor that it spills onto because it's just soapy water. The other thing that you can use is 
oil. Now, the con to soapy water is that it evaporates very quickly. And so if you're going to use soapy water, you want to make sure you check these pretty periodically because it will evaporate and dry out. And once it dries out, the bugs can walk right up the leg. As I said, the other thing you can use is oil. And when I say oil, I don't mean like motor oil. I mean, you know, household oil, like vegetable oil. I've seen people use olive oil, all those different types of oils. And so what you do is you actually put oil in this well. Same thing applies. They walk up, they fall in the oil, and they drown. The pro to oil is that it doesn't evaporate very quickly. So you can probably put oil in here, and it'll probably last for quite some time. The con to oil, and why a lot of people don't use oil, is because the reality of these underneath your bed is that somebody's going to kick them, one of them's going to break, whatever the case may be, and once that oil makes it onto the floor, whether it's carpet or wood, it can be a little bit destructive and stained. And so that's why a lot of people don't use oil because these are going to eventually get kicked. It always happens. And if it spills, it makes quite a mess. And so it's just something to keep in mind. But either soapy water or oil would work. Again, you want to make sure they can climb up the outer surface of the container that you use. Now, the other things that you can use are sticky things to prevent the bugs from walking up the leg of the bed. And so basically what you can do is you can take the leg of your bed and you can say, wrap it in double-sided sticky tape. And so you take your sticky tape, you wrap it around the leg, and away you go. Now, I caution very strongly about using double-sided sticky tape. A lot of double-sided sticky tapes are not meant to prevent bed bugs from walking up the leg of the bed. And they're actually not sticky enough to trap all of the bugs. I've actually seen bed bugs walk across sticky tape. And, you know, some will get stuck, but some will just slowly work their way across it. And so I may not necessarily rely on double-sided sticky tape because I've seen these bugs do crazy things and get across it. The other issue is that all kinds of stuff gets stuck to it and you need to replace it periodically. Dirt and hair get stuck to it and then once it's not sticky, the bugs can easily walk across it. The other things that you can use, one of which is Vaseline. So you can take a smear of Vaseline, put it around the, uh, a small smear around the actual leg of the bed and the bugs will hopefully get stuck in it as they try to walk across the actual, walk up the leg of the bed. The other thing you can use is smearable glue. They actually make glue that comes in a tub that you can smear on surfaces. And you can do the same thing with smearable glue. Now, the pro to those things are they're ultra sticky and tend to actually work very well in capturing bugs. The large con to using Vaseline or you know, smearable glue is that in addition to bed bugs, everything else gets stuck in them too. Hair, dirt, the cat, the dog, the child, the foot, uh, the sheets on the bed. And what happens is, and it makes quite a mess, is that you're sleeping at night, the sheet swings down, it hits the Vaseline or the glue on the leg. Now you have Vaseline or glue all over your sheets. You know, the dog's chasing the cat, the cat runs underneath the bed, it gets stuck to the leg of the bed, the cat's screaming, you get it off, there's cat hair on the bed now, cat hair on the leg. It's a mess. The dog gets into it. The dog then goes and rolls on the couch. Now you have glue on your couch. The baby touches it or the child touches it, smacks the wall, thinks it's funny to touch the wall with sticky hands. Now there's glue all over your house. I know it sounds ridiculous. I'm going on, but I've seen a lot of wild things happen with this kind of stuff. So you need to be careful if you're going to do this. If you're going to use Vaseline or sticky glue, you want to make sure you're limiting the amount of things that can get underneath that bed and you're tucking those sheets in really well because it can make quite a mess quite quickly. But Something you can consider if you don't have dogs and cats or kids and you think you can control the sheets and everything else. It, it can work in helping prevent bugs from getting on the bed. Alrighty, so basically that's just some simple things that you can do at home using things that you have in your house to create interception and different barrier devices. Remember, a bowl. If you're going to do a barrier device, you want to make sure bugs can't climb up the wall. If you're going to do interception devices, which I more recommend or better recommend, however you say that, um, you want to put soapy water or oil inside here with the leg of the bed so the bugs drown. If you're going to do your sticky stuff, you have glue, you have Vaseline, you have sticky side and tape. You just want to make sure those sheets are tucked in with any of these devices and the bed is pulled away from the wall and make sure that things aren't getting into this stuff because it's going to make a mess if they do. All right, everybody. If you have any questions on this topic, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com. Be happy to answer them and I hope to see everybody soon enough.